morning you guys or afternoon evening whenever you are watching this but for me it is bright early in the morning about 7 a.m and i figured i wanted to go ahead and go through my current beauty drawer um these are the products that i pulled or that i've been using since my last shop my stash and just wanted to run through them with you guys, give some quick roundup reviews before I do my next Shop My Stash. So I decided to kind of do my Shop My Stash a little bit differently if you're familiar with how I do it. I normally go through all of the products that I used for the previous month and then at the end of the video I select new products for the upcoming months. But I wanted to split them in two. So I'm gonna try and have my videos a little bit shorter and cut it into two videos. So this video is just going to be like my roundup of showing you what I've been using, giving some brief thoughts, and then the next video will be my <laughs> shot by stash. So hopefully that makes sense. But these are all the current products that I've been using over the last month, month and a half. Um, so let's just start running through. So I'm gonna go in the order of pretty much how I do my face. The first moisturizer that I've been using, I've been using for years. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. Love this stuff. I'm actually trying to finish it up because I'm getting pretty close to finishing it up. This stuff is just really nice and creamy and moisturizing. Like I said, I've been using it for years and it's possibly going to stay for my next shot my stash just so I can finish it up. I also have been using the Pretty Filter Waterfall Glow Cream. This is from Touch and Soul. Very, very pretty jar. And I really like this one as well. This is more of like that really moisturizing water cream type texture. And oh, this stuff is very hydrating. It feels really, really good on the skin. Love using this. It, the top doesn't come like this. I was kind of testing out some fingernail polishes to see which one I wanted to use. <laughs> So I use the top as a little tester, but anyways, that stuff is really, really nice. Let's move over here into some like uh, primers and pre-makeup items. The e.l.f. Skin Bronzing Drops. Oh, I love these. I wasn't sure if I would like it or not because I really don't typically put stuff on like this prior to my foundation, but I found during the summer, I have really been loving these drops. Um, they really just add a little extra bit of glow underneath my foundation. Let me see if I can, you know, just put a little bit, you know, it just kind of has that slight tint, but it also adds that little bit of glow, you know, to your skin under your foundation. And I really, really like it. Really love these drops. So I'm probably going to end up keeping this in my shop, my stash and just making this like a staple for the summer. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? This um, Milani SPF BFF, it has SPF 30. It's a primer with SPF in it. Um, I use this typically if I know I'm gonna go outside, you know, I don't be running around in the streets all the time, you know, I'm too old for that. And it's hot as I don't know what out here in Vegas. <laughs> but if I do know that I'm gonna be running errands, I do try to use this to make sure I get that SPF on my face. I mean, it just feels like a regular moisturizer. I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like. To my, um, you know, with my experience with it, I haven't experienced any white cast from it. So, you know, it just looks like that. It looks like a regular moisturizer. And when you rub it in, I did wipe the elf bronzing off of my hand already if you're curious i did wipe it off but yeah with the milani spf it just looks like a really nice moisturizer you know so i like this stuff it works well i typically just keep this in my drawer you know for those times when i know um i know people say oh, i'll put spf on every day i don't i'm not gonna sit here and lie about it i don't i you try to use it when i know i'm going outside <laughs> Um, next, I have here this Il Maquillage Primer. This is the No Filter Primer from Il Maquillage. And I know this stuff has a lot of hype um, on the... Try to wipe some of that off. On the internet, it, you know, it's like that kind of clear silicone-based 
primer and it does work nicely it's a little bit thicker than I like um you know for a primer sometimes but it does work nicely to kind of blur you out you know and fill in pores and things like that so it's not a bad primer at all it's actually a good primer but I'm gonna switch that out now this Sephora well let me talk about this revolution the revolution mattifying primer this is the matte and fix primer from revolution makeup and this is very similar to that Il Maquillage. I'll show you. Let me go ahead and wipe off the Il Maquillage. So I'll just wipe that off. But let me show you. This is very similar. It's um, a lot more affordable, less expensive. As you can see, it's that same clear uh, formula for mattifying primer. And, you know, it pretty much does the same thing as the Il Maquillage. As you can see, it does kind of blur you out a bit, smooth you out a bit. And it's pretty much like the same to me, quite honestly. I haven't experienced a difference in the two. Um, so if you want something that's a little bit more affordable, if they still sell this at Revolution, it pretty much does the same thing for a lot cheaper. Um, next primer, I have this Sephora Smooth Blur Primer. It diffuses the look of imperfections, and I'll show you what this one looks like. This one is more of like, you know, that thick, kind of creamy uh, consistency. It has a little bit of an orange tint to it, which doesn't really show. But this is actually really a really, really nice blurring primer. Um, I feel like it works well with kind of concealing those pores around my nose and you know on my cheeks and stuff so I actually really really do like this primer works really nice a product that I have well let me talk about this elf this elf poreless putty primer I actually just pulled this stuck it in the drawer because I saw it and I was like I haven't used that in so long um so you know I just kind of <laughs> started using it again digging in here and um I got like 50 primers on my hand right now but you know this one is just kind of you know like that putty type primer it definitely does you know have like a white kind of cast when you put it on you don't want to wear this by itself but it does help to you know just kind of blur and fill in your pores if you have pores and things like that you know everyone has pores but if you have larger pores on your face and stuff it does really help with that it's a nice affordable primer you know if you like that type of thing with the primer that kind of you know comes off creamy and white and kind of dries down a bit you might like that um so it's a decent primer i know at one while I really really was in love with it and now it's just like you know it's cool <laughs> it's cool um I just I absolutely fell in love with this product you guys this elf stay cool primer stick I love this thing I love how cool and hydrating it makes my face feel I just love rubbing it all over my skin and letting it set in before I put on my primer and my foundation it's just I love this stuff. I don't even know what else to say about it. I know some people might think it's not doing anything, but for me, I could tell a difference on my skin when I use this. It really hydrates and plumps my skin. It just feels really good. So love this. This is definitely going to stay a staple in my drawer. This, <laughs> I'm not really sure if I will be using this. This is like a, um, what is it called? It's the Daily Dew Stick from e.l.f. and so you can wear this by itself or you can wear it under makeup as well. It adds like a dewy glow um, to your skin and I got this one which is like a peachy shade, Tangerine Kiss. Um, so it definitely adds like a bit of a orangey type glow. I don't know if you can see that but it adds like an orangey type glow to your skin. Um, so I definitely would not wear this by itself like it suggests because I wouldn't really want that but it's just another glow stick that you can wear underneath your foundation if you want to add some glow um yeah I don't know how often I'll be using that if I'll be using it at all it might get decluttered <laughs> so let's see let's move into foundations okay now this foundation here 
this Revolution Skin Silk. I pulled the shade F13.5. I just saw it at Ulta and wanted to try it out. I really like this. I really, really do. It's um, it's a serum foundation, which is not really my favorite type of foundation because, you know, it's like they can be really wet looking and not so much. You know, they have more of that glowy type vibe and they don't really dry down, you know. You definitely want to powder this if you don't want to be looking like a grease ball. But as far as the coverage, the consistency, just, I really, really enjoyed this. And when you set it down with powder, oh, it looks amazing. <laughs> it really does. So I like this stuff, would definitely be using that quite a bit. You know, I like it for the summer too. The serum foundation, really like it for the summer. Let me wipe off this foundation and this glow stick. Okay, got a clean hand. This Laura Mercier. This stuff is bomb. <laughs> I really, really like this foundation. Um, this is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation from Laura Mercier. Um, what shade do I have? It looks like 5W1 Sienna. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's the shade that I have. And this foundation... I don't know. I just really like it. That's what this shade looks like on me. And I mean, I like having this K on my hand because you can kind of tell what the coverage is on stuff. But yeah, it's just that nice lightweight skin type finish. As you can see, really good coverage, a nice glow. I just, I really like it. This stuff is great. I won't sit here and go on and on about it. I love it. It's definitely going to be one of my favorite foundations for sure. Um, let's see. And I'm just going to wipe off my hand in between each product. The N Danessa Myrix, this, um, what is it? The Yummy Skin 8.5. This is called the Blurring Balm Powder for face, eyes, I don't know, whatever, but really really nice packaging really wanted to try it out this almost got decluttered y'all <laughs> this almost got decluttered because i was like uh-uh uh-uh when i used it i felt it on my face it was like super heavy but i had it in my declutter box and i took it back out i said you know what i'm gonna give it another try because it's Danessa myricks you know, it wasn't cheap. I really want to give it another shot. So I decided to try it with a damp beauty sponge, beauty blender. So I tried it with a damp beauty blender and fell in love with it. Because this stuff, it is really creamy, really slick. Um, but using the beauty blender, it was just like a nice, light, you know, coverage on my face. I'll put it on the K so you can see but it was like a nice light coverage on my face and i wasn't able to feel it as much it wasn't super heavy and weighted on my skin you know and when i powdered it it actually looked amazing and felt great but the key for me with using this is using it with a you know a damp beauty blender just bouncing the beauty blender in here and bouncing it on my skin and when I did that and added my concealer and my powder, I absolutely loved it. Honey, when I use this with a brush, mm -mm, I was ready to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> I was like, absolutely not. Because I don't like super heavy stuff on my face. So I'm glad that I figured out a way to use it to my liking. So, you know, it gave it another shot. That's why I do like trying things, you know, a second time and stuff like that when I'm not really sure or a third time even if I hate it the first time because maybe a different process might you know be better or work better for you now this is the Danessa my rich yummy skin serum skin tint this I would definitely use um, when I really don't want no coverage <laughs> this is a shade 12 and it just it's really really nice but I find that if I'm going to use this I really need to, you know, go ham with my, um, K 
and it closes. But what I find is if I'm going to use this, I really, really need to, you know, have a good concealer to spot conceal and also, um, you know, a nice a powder that has good coverage for me because, you know, I have a lot of issues, discoloration and stuff on my face. And so, yeah, see, it looks really, really nice. I really like it. Beautiful, beautiful finish. But the coverage is just very minimal. You know, which if you like that, this is great. I really like this stuff. But if I'm going to use it, I have to use really good concealer or else, <laughs> or else I'm going to be irritated all day. Because I can see all of my imperfections. Okay. So, wipe that out a little bit. I need to clean all my trays. Got makeup all over the place. But the last foundation that I tried was this e.l.f. Soft Glam Satin Foundation. Um, what shade did I get? 50 Deep Warm. Okay. Love this stuff. It's amazing. Love the finish. Love how it looked on my skin. It's just... Ugh. I love it. Love it. Love it. It's a little bit thicker, as you can see. It's not super runny or anything like that. Um, it's definitely a beautiful satin foundation. You see that coverage? Cover that K right on up. Um, beautiful satin finish foundation. You can, you know, go light or you can go heavy. But as you can see, even with me rubbing it in and blending it out all over my hand, it still has that K covered. You know, you can barely see that K through that foundation. Love it. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. It's amazing. I bought like two backups just in case they <laughs> run out or stop selling it. I want to make sure I am covered, okay? Um. So let's talk about concealers, okay? Let me take this stuff out just so that I know I'm not talking about something twice. Let's talk about these concealers that I used um let's this first one here nars this one is the radiant creamy concealer i really really enjoyed using this it's a little bit um it has a wand as you can see it's a little bit of um a thicker concealer for sure definitely has some crazy coverage um as you can see covered that k right on up and as you blend it out it blends out very, very nicely into the skin. And the shade that I have, it has like a little bit of an orange tint to I feel to it, I feel. So it really works nicely for me in, you know, helping with my skin discoloration, you know, shade and all that stuff. Because it, it feels like it has a little bit of a orange or peachy, you know, um undertone to it so as you can see very very nice concealer had a good time using that you guys know if you've been around my juvia's place number 11 this is like my absolute favorite concealer of all time in history will never not use it that is what shade 11 looks like you can see that coverage um it's beautiful i definitely would say you know if you need a full coverage concealer that blends out nicely has a beautiful finish that the juvia's place concealer is bomb.com and as you can see <laughs> i'm going in wiping off each concealer um this one the l'oreal true match in c7-8 i found that i really enjoyed using this as well um, I don't like the fact that it's a squeezy tube. I mean, but it's drugstore. You know what I'm saying? And with this concealer, honestly, you can use this, you know, if you don't want to wear like a lot of foundation. As you can see, look at that finish. Beautiful. And look at that coverage. Okay. But with the squeezy tube, I have a tendency to squeeze too much out, as you can see. And, um, it is wasteful and I don't want to waste you know my products but yeah you can see that coverage is crazy and it's a beautiful like nice dewy type finish um it's just beautiful so I really enjoyed using it underneath my eyes it worked out great 
Next, I did try out a lot of concealers, as you can see. I tried out this uh, She Glam. She Glam Perfect Skin High Coverage Concealer. You know, it has like the brush tip. So, I mean, it's like what I would typically do is just like put some, I'll put some on my cape. Put some, you know, on my hand or whatever and use a brush to apply it to my face. I don't really like applying product directly on my face but because of the fact that this is a lighter shade and this is so small I can't really read it hold on see if I can see what shade this is golden so this is in the shade golden but because of the fact that it is so light on me I would mix this and look at that this stuff it dried it dries down you know kind of quickly but it does have a really nice finish and the coverage is crazy. Um, but I would mix this with some of my one of my other concealers just to help brighten up under my eyes. And I really like this. So if you're looking for an affordable concealer that has nice coverage and a nice dry down, but it's not super drying under your eyes, that might be one that works for you. You know, very, very affordable. My girl Nacy um, was trying out different concealers and she gave that to me to try out. Um, let's see, I also have in here the J Cat Stay Assurance Concealer. This one is really good, nice, affordable concealer. I have Sun Kissed, has a doe foot applicator, which I love. And this is what that one looks like crazy coverage. Beautiful shade, really, really nice. I like the JCAT concealer. Uh, let's see. Next, this is my Patrice True Skin. Um, what shade do I use? 92 Warm Spices. This I use um, to cover up the imperfections all over my face. This one replaced, oh my gosh. See, now I can't even remember the one that it replaced. Uh, because they stopped selling it. I ran out of it. And now I don't even remember what the name of it was. Child. <laughs> but anyway, if it comes to me, then I will let you guys know. But this Catrice uh, True Skin Balm. You can use this, you know, to cover up imperfections. This is like, you know, my perfect shade to do that. Great coverage, as you can see. The finish is nice. Dry down is nice. Um, it holds its coverage, but it's very easy to blend out for sure. You know, love, love, love it. So this is like my favorite concealer must have for underneath my foundation to cover up them spots. And then the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. I did pull this because I hadn't used it in quite a while. And I wanted to, nice big fat doe foot. I wanted to, you know, just kind of see if I still liked it, how I felt about it. And it's still a great concealer. Really good coverage, nice finish. It blends out easily. And love this concealer as well. Definitely affordable. One of my favorites. So, yeah, it's a great concealer. I feel like I tried a gang of concealers, you guys. <laughs> Some of them I already knew I was you know, loving, but other ones, it's like, yo, how many are you going to try? And then I also pulled this NARS concealer. It's like in a pot. This one is in the shade Truffle. Um, I think this one, is this the same shade as this one? Yeah, these are both the same shade from NARS, but this one is, you know, the liquid, and this one is in a pot. So they both work very, very well to conceal for me like I said it has like you know it just when I put it on my skin it has a little bit of that orangey tint to it amazing coverage of course and it works out well if you prefer to you know just kind of like dab a brush in a pot and spot conceal then this is a great concealer as well for that um yeah from NARS Okay, so some other setting sprays. This one size, yo, when I tell you using this one size, you basically just <laughs> spraying your face with hairspray, but your face will not move. Child, listen, 
This one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. You want your face to last all day in the rain while you swimming in a thunderstorm. This is the one. <laughs> this is the one, okay? That's all I got to say about it. This fell in love with. This is a new favorite of mine from e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. Shockingly fine mist, okay? They ain't never lied when they said that. The mist on this is just like, you know, when you're walking through those little light misters when you're somewhere and it's super hot and they're trying to cool you down. That's how light this mist is, and I love it. It's like I could just spray this stuff on my face all day. You see how much of it I used, and I just bought it a few weeks ago. So, yeah, love this stuff. It definitely leaves your face nice and dewy, but it's like not... To the point where you feel like your face looks greasy or oily. It's just a beautiful finish. And it definitely, you know, helped to keep my makeup in place. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, this is in here because I wanted to try this out. I don't even know. I think, I guess I got this from Sephora or something as a sample. This is the Huda Beauty Best Lashes. And they give you two little samples of mascara in here. I haven't tried it yet. But I'm keeping that in there because I do want to try it. Um, let's see. Oh, the eyeshadow primer that I use all the time, my P. Louise base. Um, what shade do I have? Rumor 03. This stuff really keeps me from pulling any other eyeshadow primer because it works so good. It's like, what's the point in trying anything else? But I am going to try some other ones um, this upcoming month. But this is my go to, my P. Louise base. It's perfect. Um, you don't need anything else. It works perfectly. This, These are the lashes that I um, have worn quite a few times over the last month. These are the Plunge. I believe they're Kiss. I don't have the re rest of the packaging. But I leave, believe these are Kiss lashes. They're Plunge. They're really big and dramatic. But I like them. So I've been using those. Um, the other eyeshadow primer I did pull was this Soft Ochre. Um... This is the paint pot. Is this from MAC? I believe this is the MAC paint pot in soft ochre. This is also another great eyeshadow primer. Yeah, it's from MAC. This is another great eyeshadow primer. As you can see, I've really put a dent in this <laughs> over time. And it still works great. Even though I've had this for years, it still works great. So this is another primer that I've been using on my eyes. I just dip a brush in there, tap it on my eyes, and... It works very well. Now, this little bucket here, I keep, you know, my basic eyeliners and mascaras and stuff in here. I always use this matte liquid eyeliner. It's waterproof. I got this from Amazon. Um, what brand is this? I can never remember the brand. Yeah, it says Italia Deluxe on there. So it's just like an off brand that I got off Amazon and this stuff works amazing. Um, I think you could buy it like in a multi-pack or whatever. But if you're looking for a liquid matte eyeliner, which works well for me because it's like it has a brush. I prefer a brush tip. A very thin brush tip with my eyeliner so it just works well for me and I like that so that stays in there I have other pencil eyeliners in here that I use my nabby pencils got these off of Amazon as well I really like these because they are twist up ain't nobody got time to be sharpening pencils all the time so you can get like a multi-pack of these for a really good price on Amazon from nabby I've been using this L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara for a very long time. Since I started wearing falsies and extensions and lash extensions, I really only focus mascara on my lower lashes a lot. And so this one I really, really like because I probably need to replace it. But I really like this one because, as you can see, the wand is the plastic with the really small teeth, very small teeth. And it just gets your lower lashes really, really good. And the mascara is a really good mascara. So it's like I haven't really been doing a lot with mascara. So it's hard for me to try new ones because, you know, I don't want to open 5 million mascaras. This is a Revolution Big Lash. I ordered this just because I was curious and wanted to try it. I mean, I think I got it maybe from Ulta. I don't order a lot of stuff um, from 
Revolution's website. But this is what the teeth on here looks like. Mascara is very, very good. Very, very good. Really like it. Like the teeth. I like the consistency of the mascara. It's like it's wet, but it's not too wet, not too dry. It's just perfect. So I actually really like this mascara. So this is the Big Lash from Revolution. Okay, so that's that drawer. Let's move on to the next drawer. Okay, so let's go through drawer number two. This is my powders, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, things like that. I need to stop talking so much. I'm giving you guys um, <laughs> swatches and, you know, a lot of information. But this video is going to be long because I don't know what, but it's okay. So this is my Huda Beauty Loose Powder. This one is the Cinnamon Bun. Absolute one of my favorites loose powders if not my favorite i love this powder it works extremely well and i love the shade of it it's just it's beautiful next i have here this sephora finishing powder this was a powder that i actually almost decluttered at one while because i wasn't really sure how to use it it just seemed like when i used it it didn't do anything but i finally figured out how to use it and make it work for me it does give a nice light finish i think i used this after i used the um danessa myricks the yummy skin one the thicker one in the pot the blurring balm and it looked really, really good. Really good. So finally figured out how to make that work for me. And I love it. The Lip Bar. This is a powder. Um, what is this? Set the Tone Finishing Powder. So this is in the shade Bronze Beauty. Another finishing powder. And I actually really like this one. I think it's a little bit just slightly darker than I like for my powders to be. But it worked out nicely for me. It's not a problem. This Super Stay from Maybelline 24 hour. This is in the shade 340 and I actually bought this thinking that I was gonna be able to use it under my eyes as a brightening powder. I don't know what I was seeing in Ulta, but you see the shade of this powder and this powder is like perfect to do my whole face. <laughs> so this is just a regular powder for me and the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour powders are bomb. Really, really good powders. I really like this 24 hour good powder uh, this black opal true color this one is smoking topaz um picked this up from Ulta I like it I don't have anything extraordinary to say about it it's a good powder it does the job um, it's not my perfect shade but it works for me that's all I can really say about that this KVD you guys know this pretty much stays in my drawer <laughs> I mean, this is the powder that I use when all else fails. As you can see, this, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. This is a powder foundation. I use the shade Deep 200. You've heard about it several times. Absolute favorite. Um, let's see, this NYX powder. This is one that I use to brighten up under my eyes. It works nicely. It's a can't stop, won't stop. And this is the shade Golden. Um... Yeah, it works nicely as a pressed powder to use under my eyes to set my concealer. So, been using that. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about bronzers. This ColourPop bronzer. Absolutely love this. I really do. <laughs> For it to be ColourPop, it works really, really well with my skin tone. This is Moonlight Beach. And it's just, it's a great affordable bronzer. No complaints. This bronzer here is from Revolution. This is Revolution Pro in the shade, uh, what shade is this, child? This is Cocoa Extract. Oh, in Enrobe, it looks like, Enrobe. And beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love the, you know, design in here, but the bronzer itself is a gorgeous shade. Gorgeous formula, gorgeous, gorgeous finish. And it blends out nicely. So it's a great product from Revolution Pro. This Essence Keep Me Covered powder. Um, I actually bought this to wear as a powder in 90 dark. But it turned out to be too dark. So I had to use it as a bronzer. It worked well as a bronzer. You know, wasn't really happy about that because I didn't need another bronzer. But, you know, I'm glad that I can repurpose it as a bronzer. Just, you know, because the shade was a little bit too dark to set my whole face but it's a nice powder 
got that from Ulta as well. This e.l.f. putty uh, bronzer. I did use this a couple of times. I'm not really a putty or liquid bronzer type of chick. But, you know, I wanted to go ahead and get some use out of my putty bronzers. This is the one from e.l.f. It has a little bit more of a cool tone vibe to it. So it can be like a bronzer slash contour, I guess. But, yeah, it worked out fine. Let's move on to blushes. I have this Moira blush. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this orangey, peachy shade. And they have these ombre looks to them. This is a signature ombre blush in orange blossom. Beautiful for the spring and summer. Um, I pulled this Cara Beauty Blissful Liquid Blush. This is one that I think I picked up recently, actually. What shade is this? I do not know what shade this is. It's like it's not on the bottom or anything. I'm probably overlooking it, but anyways. This blush is really nice. It really is. I just used a couple of dots. You can see it's that gorgeous, pretty, corally shade. And it has a really nice finish. You see that? Gorgeous, beautiful finish. If you like a dewy makeup look, this works really, really well, so loved that also grab this fenty beauty this is new to my collection this one is in baked peach it's one of her hot cheeks um new blushes the packaging is gorgeous and this is the color that i have as you can see here a beautiful beautiful shade it has like a bit of you know glistening glow in there so you can see that as well just absolutely beautiful. If you like a glowy type blush, it's gorgeous. I love this type of stuff for the spring and the summer. Uh, Elf blush here. I have the shade Always Tempting. Beautiful dusty rose. Love the Elf blushes. They're really, really great. Um, I have too many blushes, y'all. This is ridiculous. <laughs> But it's really nice, you know, when you're shopping your stash throughout the month, you have a lot of variety. This Sunset Strip Cream Blush from ColourPop. I didn't really use this a lot. I don't know if I, I think I used it maybe once. But this is one of my absolute favorite shades. It's kind of like a cross between like a Dusty Rose and like a peachy shade. Um, and it's really creamy, very emollient as you can see. As I'm, you know, digging into it. The color is beautiful, but it has more of like a drier, um, you know, when it dries down. It looks like, as you can see, it's kind of like fading away a little bit, you know, so you can't build it up. But it doesn't stay as dewy looking as some other like cream blushes that I'm used to. It's a beautiful formula, beautiful shade, but... You know, just wanted to let you know that if you're looking for something super dewy, that one is not really it. It's beautiful, but it doesn't really stay dewy. Next here, I have another ColourPop blush. This one is in the shade Staycation. Beautiful, bright, corally shade. It's just a regular powder blush. Looks gorgeous, builds up nicely. I'll go ahead and swatch that right quick for you so you can see that shade. Gorgeous. Next, I have here another ColourPop blush. This one is icing on top. I guess I was just really getting a lot of use out of my ColourPop blushes. This one, beautiful, deeper shade. Oh, oh gorgeous. Okay, gorgeous. Look at that. Ciao. Beautiful. Okay, I have another powder back here that I guess it didn't fit in the front, so I forgot about it. This Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their translucent powder, loose setting translucent powder. Um, I wanted to try this out because, like, I've always been afraid of quote unquote translucent powders that are white that look like this because I feel like they always show white on my skin and just make me look ashy and dusty. But with using this several times over the last month, I actually have figured out how 
to use this in a way that I love it, which is under my eyes and in my highlighted areas, and then just kind of lightly dust over it with my regular powder. And I actually like it. So because the powder itself, aside from it, you know, being quote unquote translucent with a white cast, the powder itself is amazing. The setting, you know, power of it, and it just holding that foundation, those wet products, locking them in place. Perfect. So I actually figured out how to use this and I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> okay, so let's move into highlighter. Now let's finish up with the blush. This Revolution Roxy palette, I did use this. I typically stay over here in this corner. I just drag my brush through all four of these and it's absolutely gorgeous. Love these um, blush shades. Beautiful for the spring and summer. Really, really gorgeous. Um, this will wrap it up from P. Louise. Oh, this blush palette is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at these blushes. It just screams summer to me. My favorite shades, beautiful corals. This right here is more of like a plummy type shade. I don't, you know, the camera is not really picking it up exactly you know how the shade is i think it's looking more red on camera but it truly is more of like a purpley fuchsia type shade but honey this palette gorgeous very pigmented as you can see i love it had a good time playing with that and then this blush binder i don't even know i might have used this like once or twice this is from the crayon case and it is their blush binder really cute school theme and it has all of these different shades of blush in here i don't even know if they still sell this i really don't shop on the crayon case um website anymore but beautiful book of blushes several different shades they are gorgeous, nicely pigmented, as you can see here. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Ugh. So if you like bright blushes, this is a great blush book to have if you just want one place to grab your blushes. Okay, let's jump into these highlighters. So this is my Revolution Highlighter Quad. I mean, you can see how gorgeous it is. These highlighters are just to die for. It's Revolution, so it's affordable. I've had it for quite a while, so I honestly don't even know if they still sell this because I really don't keep up with Revolution. But as you can see, beautiful, beautiful highlighters. Love using that. This is um, from... What is it? Was it Juno & Co? Yeah, so this is a pretty little palette from Juno & Co that, uh, did I purchase this or did I get it in a box? I think I purchased this. Gorgeous, it has a blush, a really sparkly highlighter in there. It has a regular highlighter and then a bronzer. Of course, it doesn't work for me. I typically use it for the blush because I love this shade of blush the highlighter, and even occasionally the sparkly highlighter. I don't even know if Juno & Co. is still in business, but child, they came out with a beautiful uh, palette, as you can see. Gorgeous, love this. This one is the bombshell. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is the bombshell uh, palette. Okay, next I have this Charlotte Tilbury um, situation. What is this? Pillow Talk. This is a beautifying face palette. So there's four items in here. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. I'm trying not to, you know, blind you guys with the mirror and stuff. But this is what this looks like. This is beautiful, but I feel like it's very hard, you know, hard packed in here. So I really have to do a lot to get any real you know, color or pigment out of here, which kind of causes me to not want to use it that much. It's like I have to really do a lot to build up the color the way that I want to on my skin tone. But as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful shade. Um, this is pretty too, but yeah, all of these, every single one of these is like, it takes, um, a lot when you're like trying to pick it up 
to put it on your face. So, I've got all kind of stuff all over me. The, the colors are beautiful. You know, very, very beautiful as you can see there. But it just takes a lot for me to use this. So, and that's why I don't really pull it that often, even though it is gorgeous. Okay, next I have in here um, from Physician's Formula. It's the Rose All Day Petal Glow. Yeah, really pretty. Gorgeous. It's not um, as deep of a highlighter as I would like, but it's beautiful. Nonetheless, it works splendidly. This hood of beauty, this one is Thea, which is a glow blush. And I think I just really like this a lot because it is <laughs> so gorgeous. As you can see there, it's the shape of a rose and it's like has um, beautiful color in there. You see that? So if you like a highlighter that has beautiful, you know, color in there, child, look at this. Look how sensitive my skin is right now. Just for me doing these swatches is breaking out. That's ridiculous. Okay. This Danessa Myricks. This is new. Picked this up recently. This is child, yummy skin highlighter in the shade Incognito. So this is gorgeous too. This is a cream, a cream highlighter. Beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. It is really, really pretty. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of use out of it, as you can see, because I have been using a lot of highlighters, but it's beautiful. I have this Sephora. This is um, a liquid highlighter. You can see that and what shade is this I don't know but let's see if you can see what shade that is Eclipse okay so yeah this is a liquid highlighter I'm not going to swatch this because like I said my arm is getting <laughs> just sensitive beautiful liquid highlighter and then last I have this REM Beauty highlighter that I believe I picked up at Sephora um, a gorgeous gorgeous shade which one is this Miss Mars. Miss Mars. I'll go ahead and swatch this on my hand. So you see how beautiful that is. It is a gorgeous highlight. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let's move on to the palettes. Okay, you guys, before I jump into the palettes that I use, I forgot I have this little tray over here of items that I either am going to declutter or that didn't work out for me for whatever reason. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad product. It just means it didn't work out for me. Now, this new Morphe blush, I just got this. You guys might have seen me haul it in uh, one of my vlogs. This is Euphoric Rush in the shade Touched. It's a three-in-one silk blush, and I didn't like it for several reasons. For one, I didn't like the color. Um, I think when the sales lady brought me the color um, that I asked her for, she brought me the wrong one. So I didn't like the color on me. It really just makes me look like I have a bruise on my face, and I don't like that. It's too dark. I need something a little bit lighter and brighter. Um, and I didn't really like... The consistency of it I didn't enjoy using this as a blush so I feel like even if I got a different color I probably still wouldn't enjoy it the color just you know it didn't complement my skin and I didn't really like the way it felt when I used it I just felt like it was just too emollient too creamy and so this is most likely an item that I'm going to declutter. I'm not going to use that anymore. Now, this item is not one that I'm not going to reach for anymore because it's a bad product. It's actually an amazing blush. This is from Makeup by Tammy, one of her plush blushes. Um, this is in the shade Candy Kiss. But this stuff is so pigmented that it was like, I could not control it. I just, I could not control it. It comes in a pump. So it's like, you really just, <laughs> you know, you just want to use the tiniest, like that right there is enough to blush like five people. That's how pigmented this blush is. And for me, even though I love a pigmented product, look at that. 
it's it's just it's insane to where it was very difficult for me to control i just i turned into a cherry red apple <laughs> when i put this on my cheeks just the tiniest tiniest bit and so it didn't make for an enjoyable makeup experience it was just too much and i have uh two other shades in this blush i believe so it's like i will try it again probably one of the lighter shades and i will probably have to really truly just dot this down you know with a brush really really heavily just to get to the point of a shade that i could actually wear that's not too too much it's just way too pigmented which makes it hard to control and i don't like that at all so not saying it's a bad product i love my girl tammy but ugh, it's just i i can't i can't even deal with it this is the danessa myricks um bronzer let me get the name on this for you guys this is the uh power bronzer in the shade deep i've been struggling trying to use this bronzer for a very long time and i'm quite frankly just tired of it <laughs> i'm tired of it it's 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 thick it's very thick and i don't like that and it's just it's way too deep and dark and pigmented for me it's like whenever i try to use it it just it's too much another product that's way too pigmented hard for me to control and it's not worth the trouble for me when i have so many other products that are easy to use and not as pigmented so once again not a bad product it just didn't work for me this next product here is a concealer this is true complexion Longwear concealer from black radiance what i didn't like about this concealer is that um, it was super dry under my eyes the way it dried down it made um my under eyes look really crepey and showed all of my wrinkles and it just looked really bad. So, you know, and this shade is not really the best for me, whatever shade this is. Um, I don't know, that doesn't look like a shade number. But it just, it wasn't the best shade for me and I did not like how it made my under eyes look. So this is getting decluttered from Black Radiance. Another product that I tried that didn't work out for me was this e.l.f. double-ended brow and eyelash wand. It's a transparent mascara, um, and I guess it's supposed to help with your... It's a clear brow and lash mascara. It's supposed to help with your lashes and, you know, lay your brows down. But it didn't lay my brows down like I needed it to. They weren't stiff and firm enough for me so didn't really enjoy it i wasn't going to use it on my lashes anyway so i'm going to go ahead and just declutter that because i'm not going to use it and then lastly in the items that didn't work for me this mac fizzy feels lip balm i'm still trying to figure out why i bought this quite honestly i mean i'm sure it was a, a great gimmicky uh ad that i saw on instagram or something but really pretty packaging from mac and i'm sure these weren't cheap but it's like child who who why i just mm -mm. I'm, I'm not wearing this on my lips I'm, I'm past the age of wearing this on my <laughs> lips. I'm not doing it. So I really feel like, why did I waste my money on this? I feel like it didn't look like this on a commercial, but maybe it did. You know, I might have saw it and was like, ooh, that's pretty. But yeah, this is getting decluttered because child, uh -uh, that was a true waste of money for me. Okay, you guys, I tried, but this video is definitely going to be an hour long. <laughs> I just I tried but whatever um so I'm just gonna run through these palettes I these are the palettes that I've used over the last month and I combined a couple of these palettes together I used this garden lights which is gorgeous and I paired it with my born to run palette you guys are familiar with the born to run of course this is what she looks like that's what she said, but this is what she looks like. 
and I'll go ahead and just insert, you know, picture of the look that I did with these palettes over here so you can see it. But um, I also included this little single shadow from Foera to create this look. And I really enjoyed it. I had a good time. I, I never pull my Born to Run. And I'm like, you know what? Let's be Born to Run. And so I pulled it, tried it out. And that's the look that I created. Next, I paired this um, Cosmic Wanderer from Terra Moon. One of my favorite palettes of all time. As you can see, she is a beauty. So I paired this along with my beauty bay age of opulence because i was you know i did a whole video talking about one of the new palettes from clarity that i was trying to avoid <laughs> buying because i didn't need it and lord knows i didn't need that palette but this is the look that i created you know with these two palettes um very bold very bright gorgeous look and I love this palette. I love both of these palettes. They're both two of my favorites. The color story, gorgeous, as well as the formula. Beauty Bay comes out with some bomb palettes. Terra Moon has the bomb shadows. So really enjoyed that. Um, I did go ahead and try out this new Neutrals palette from Cosmic Brushes. Or Cosmic Beauty, I think, is their new name. But... I went ahead and used this palette, gorgeous. This is the look I created with this palette. I really enjoyed it. I went ham in this shade here. Um, I feel like it could have been a little bit more pigmented because I did have to build it up quite a bit, but it still turned out beautifully. The shimmers are gorgeous. I mean, this palette is beautiful. I did create a smoky look <laughs> with this Precious Metals from ColourPop. Um, I do actually want to play around with this some more because I want to use more of the goldy shades in here. But the look that I created, as you can see now, it really more so focused on this side of the palette, which, you know, not a not a big deal. I was doing like a glowy summer look and I was really more so focused on the complexion. But yeah, I definitely want to have some fun over here in this palette because it is a beautiful palette. Next, I did go ahead and play around with this So Elemental from ColourPop. Picked this up from Ulta and just love this cool tone color story. These cool tone blues, just oh, so gorgeous. Loved it. Um, pull these over. I also played around with this Flower Moon from Inslee Rain. Their packaging is gorgeous. The shadows are gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Chow, absolutely beautiful. And the shift, the shiftiness of these shades. As you can see, the look I did, I stayed more on the lighter, brighter side, playing around with, you know, the orange and the peach and then kind of playing with these two shades, I believe, on my lid and in my inner corner, but absolutely gorgeous. Of course, you guys know I definitely want to dive into this deeper side over here and play with some more of the blues and purples, but this palette is gorgeous. Another A new brand that I've fallen in love with, but their palettes are super expensive, okay? I cannot condone that. I cannot condone the high prices, Inslee Rain. Y'all need to chill out. Anyway, this is a cold moon. My girl Lily bought me this um, when I was complaining about the price. And child, when I saw this, I knew it was over. I fell in love. <laughs> I'm in my cool tone era and I just, I fell in love. So I used this palette to create this look here. As you can see, very cool tone grays. Just, you know, a different type of vibe for me, but I, I just love it. So love this palette as well nomad dropped a new palette i did a whole video swatching this if you're curious check it out um but this is the keys beachy and peachy palette and super colorful super gorgeous um it's beautiful if you like bright 
you know, colorful palettes. This is definitely one you can grab. I do have a discount code with them. It's not affiliated. I don't make any money, but it is, will save you, you know, 10% or whatever. It's Camille 10, but yeah, so I created this look with this palette. I have fun creating this look because I have not just done a straight up, you know, rainbow type look on my lids in a while. So I had a lot of fun doing this one. Really, really enjoyed it. Next, I wanted to try out um, a new palette from Profusion. I don't know if it's new or not, but it's new to me, child. <laughs> I just went and I was kind of like looking for, you know, to see what they have that I don't have that I might like. And this palette was surprisingly, surprisingly really good. It's like a lot of satins in here. I don't think there are any true mattes in here. These are all just satins and shimmers. And so that can be a little bit, you know, intimidating or whatever for someone who, you know, is not used to working with this type of formula. But this type of formula is great for a lot of like one and done looks. You can just put you know, one of these shadows all over your lid, blend it out, you know, and diffuse it in the crease and it looks gorgeous. So this is the look that I created with this palette, you know, just something really kind of dark and smoky. I stayed over here in this area of the palette and I, I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, okay, Profusion. But yeah, they're really beautiful, nice pigmented shades. So if you want to try them out, affordable and definitely worth the money. Last but not least, I have these two new palettes from Nomad. Nomad has been just dropping the hotness, okay? This one is the X YXC <laughs> palette, which is the Canadian Rockies palette. And this one has some beautiful, gorgeous blues, green tones in there. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the look that I created with this palette. Had a lot of fun using it. I love Nomad's formula. And they're just getting better and better with their releases. Better and better. And this one is the OSL, which is the Oslo Garter Moen palette. And with me being in my cool tone era, y'all know I had to play with this, okay? And so this is the look I created with this palette. Another beautiful, gorgeous palette, okay? Like, what? What? Really, really pretty. So anyway, just wanted to share a couple of those cool tone swatches with you. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. So that is it, you guys, for all of the products that I used over this last month, month and a half. Um, I really enjoyed most of these products, except for the few that were not my favorite. Um, you know, that just didn't work out for me. Like I said, not necessarily like they were bad products. They just didn't work out for your girl. So those products will be getting decluttered out of my collection and I'm okay with that, okay? You know, you can't keep everything and that's and I, that also helps for me to kind of, you know, just clear my collection of products that don't work for me whenever I use them in my shop, my stash. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Like I said, my regular shop, my stash is going to be coming up next. So definitely look out for that. Hit that like button and the subscribe if you like this content. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Toodles! I need a tag, yeah. I need a tag, yeah.